Welcome to Tango and Friends. What's up? Hello, everybody, and welcome to Tango's Interesting Facts. This is a show where we are going to talk about lots of interesting things about the world. This week, we got sent a video by my very good friend, Ethan. And he has got an interesting question to ask to us. Okay, let's take a look. Hello Tango. This is a fossil I found on a beach and it's called an ammonite. Can you tell me more about it? Wow. Can we take a closer look at your ammonite? Let's have a look. So cool, Ethan. Okay. I think what would be a very good idea is to do five interesting facts about ammonites. Okay, here we go. Fact number one. Ammonites are very, very old. They first appeared on the earth about 250 million years ago. Wow. And then they were on the planet for a very long time before they became extinct. 65 million years ago. That's such a long time. And it's amazing that we can still find them on our beaches today. Fact number two. Ammonites come from the cephalopod family. We still have some creatures today that come from the cephalopod family, like cuttlefish, squid, octopus, and one that looks very like ammonite called nautilus. They are all incredible creatures. It's amazing that you have so many creatures that come from the same family. Fact number three. The ammonites that we find on our beaches today are actually fossils. Fossils occur by the process of permineralization. This is when the tissue that is soft in the ammonite rots away and what is left is the hard shell. Over time, the minerals from the soil that it lies in gets replaced and the fossil turns to stone or something like that. I'm not a professional, but you can look it up. Fact number four. Ammonites were the oceanic predators of their time, feeding mostly on the other marine species like mollusks, fish, and even other cephalopods. They used to propel themselves through the water by blowing a jet of water through a funnel. Isn't that amazing? Fact number five. Ammonites are coiled in shape and contain a series of linked chambers. The body of the ammonite was contained within a large final open-ended section called the living or head chamber from which the tentacles were extended to catch the prey. As the animal grew, new chambers were added behind the head chamber. The chamber interior of the shell is referred to as the Fargomocon, I think. Okay, well, I don't really know that bit, but it's amazing that as it grew, it just kept building its shell. Amazing! That's the end of our facts for today. Okay, everybody, that is the end of our five amazing facts about ammonites. I thought it would be really cool to show a photo to you of my holiday last year where I also found an ammonite. Take a look. So cool. That is the amazing thing is that if you want to find an ammonite, you can go to a beach. I know that Ethan found his ammonite in Folkestone. So, why don't you go and have a holiday and see if you can find some? I know you can also find them on the Jurassic Coast of England. You might have to Google that. Okay, see you next time. Bye! If you really want to help our YouTube channel, please press the subscribe button. And when you press the subscribe button, you can also push the bell. Because if you push the bell, you can get notifications of any time that we load a new video and you will never miss out on the fun. So cool! Okay, now that you have done that, we're going to have to go and make some videos for you now. Thanks for subscribing and please tell your friends.